By any chance, is Kupia trying to stop you from meeting her? That does seem to be what it's trying to do. Stop? After what's happened, that's what I think. But it always runs away. It runs away after being defeated. It makes me wonder if it can be killed at all. I don't get that part. But what happens if I meet Aura? Why does Kubia want to stop that? And Kubia gets stronger every time we meet him. How should I know? Think about it yourself! So, what is it? I'm telling you, I don't know! I see. Kubi is becoming stronger. It's growing like us. The infection is getting worse. We can't keep fighting on scattered like this. What do you mean? He Kite does have a point. It's right now the only one of us with any real power is Kite with the bracelet. We have a number of allies on our side, yes, but they're all regular players. And if what we're fighting is the world itself, then a regular player within the world hardly stands a chance. We need someone else with actual power. We have Kite with his bracelet. Helba is on our side as well, but at this point she's still mostly in the background. Helba, being a hacker, can still affect the world from the outside. She has a great deal more power than a regular character. What we need, though, is for everyone to get together. We need Kite, Helba, Leos, all working together. Leos. Leos? Yeah, I'm thinking if Leos lends us a hand... You do realize it's Leos, right? Are you insane? Leos wants to restore this world as well. I'm sure he'll lend us a hand. I agree with you. I'm pretty sure Leos won't help us. It'll be fine. Leos knows it too. Yeah, well, he's got his corporate side that won't let him say yes easily, but... We need the information within CC Corp itself, too. The question is, whether Leos will accept Helba. Yeah, that's the tricky part. Oh, all right. I'll summon those two, so you deal with them. Summon? How? Just watch. Actually, the problem is what to do after they're summoned. Did you say something? No. If we can get everyone together, we'll have a solid front working against Morgana and the Wave, and even Kubia. This is our next step, and this is probably the most important part of this game. I said it had its epic moment at the beginning, and while this isn't nearly as epic, it's exceedingly important. There's not much left for us to do here, though, and we have some email. And a new post on the message board. Let's play Tag Returns. The next round of Goblin Tag is about. Now what kind of email do we have? Haha, -ha, Rachel! That's actually the start of Rachel's email chain, so I'll get to that one later. Black Rose, though. has apparently summoned the two of them, so we're off to Lambda. 
And she apparently put something on the message board, so let's go see what that is. Queen of the Dark. Waiting for you in paradise. If there's any way to summon the two of them, that's wo that's a way. Queen of the Dark is referring to Helba, and it's quite obviously referring to Helba. Leos knows exactly what paradise is. Helba's going to come simply because we've summoned her, and she'll, she's probably a bit intrigued that we did it by posting on the message board. Leos is going to see this, delete the message, and then have to investigate anyway. Smart plan, if I do say so. Helma is one thing, but is Leos really going to come? The plan is perfect! I'm not a woman for nothing! I guess we should head to Netslum. Lambda, Pulsating Truth Score, for now. And that's where our next goal is. We, we grab Black Rose and head to Lambda, Pulsating Truth Score, Netslum. Our goal is to recruit Helba and Leos and have a solid front working against the wave. A turning point in the games. Until next time, everyone.